COVID has profoundly impacted people of color in the United States. Estimates from different organizations and for different racial groups put BIPOC mortality um, to COVID adjusted for age at about two to three times white levels. And here in Minnesota on the surface, we look like an exception to that. So the white population in Minnesota is about 80% of the population. And so far it's been about 87% of the COVID deaths. So on the surface, it doesn't actually seem like there is a racial equity problem at all. Um, my research with JP Leiter and other collaborators um, shows that that is a mirage and it comes from the interplay of three factors. One is that our state has a really unusually skewed age distribution where our white population is actually decades older than our populations of color. And that especially matters for COVID that is so uh, such an age sensitive disease. Um, that intersects with a natural history of the virus that especially in the most deadly waves of the pandemic has spread disproportionately in long-term care facilities that are very heavily white in this state. Um, but there's also another factor which I want to highlight, which is that the COVID statistics that we have disproportionately pick up white deaths. And what I mean by that is that in terms of the total excess mortality across 2020 in Minnesota, the confirmed COVID deaths account for 87% of that excess mortality for the white population, but only, for example, 65% of the excess mortality for the native population in Minnesota. And so the real disparities are actually substantially larger um, than what we see in the official statistics.